What's up guys, Deadly here. Today we're doing a viewer suggested video. We're gonna be seeing how much thrust, if any, these pulse jets make by putting it on this scale here. So the idea behind this one, we're gonna put the pulse jet with the methanol added. And uh, I just have this little base here so that if it does break, it'll contain most of the methanol so I don't end up screwing up my scale. It's actually my wife's scale, so I don't wanna ruin it. Um, we're gonna put that on and uh, tear it out so that it's showing zero. And then hopefully when it's running, we'll see how many grams are acting against it. All right, so all together, this one, 7.2 ounces. It changed to 7.1 right before I clicked the button. Either way, now we're at zero. I'm gonna shake that up. Sometimes these actually don't light on the first go, especially that time I got a little bit of methanol on top. Let's see. Okay, so actually that worked. For a second there, we were getting about four ounces of thrust, <laughs> not very much thrust. But uh, as you can see, it went back to zero. So. Well, in the spirit of trying a few different ones, this has been one of my favorites. It's actually pretty hard to get it to run for a long time. But it's, I just find it really cute. <laughs> One ounce. One ounce of thrust. Not really a lot of thrust. So this one is pretty cheap glass. I just bought it at the dollar store, but I do have high hopes for it. I've run this one before. And I know that, although it is still a little small, it does pack a decent punch. Let's see. Okay. It didn't really run, but for a second there, I saw seven. Okay, let's try it again. I zeroed out and shook up. Okay, I had to close that one because... Uh, these are cheap dollar store uh, mason jars, but I think I saw one pound there when it first fired up. Still not very much, but I mean, now that we're in the pounds, this actually could, uh, I mean, <laughs> obviously it would need to be a lot more complex than uh, just a, a glass jar, but uh, the, the metal ones, there's certainly, you, yeah, you, you could perceive a way of using the metal ones to propel something to move. Now, this is the one that I'm certainly most interested in trying. Um, obviously, because of the metal diffuser that's hanging in there, I can't really just shake it up like I do the other ones. I just use compressed air. Uh, my air compressor is a little bit low right now, but I should have enough, uh, enough pressure to stir it up enough that we can get it fired up, hopefully. Uh, I have a lot higher hopes for this one. Oh, that's not very much. Well, we'll see if it works. I have much higher hopes that this one's going to be able to produce a little bit more thrust. The diffuser is meant to uh, provide a little bit more efficient burn, and I've never tested it before, but it definitely does change the sound of the engine. Uh, I'm, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, so I do need to put my compressor back on. That didn't stir it up nearly enough. All right, let's try this again. better 1.6 1.4 i think it was hopping around 1.4 sorry for shutting it off so fast i just really do not want to ruin my wife's uh scale i see that we're now at a loss of 0.2 so it is also accurately reading the amount of fuel that we're using and it's crazy how fast this thing uses fuel like relative to its size obviously i mean really that's only what two though you know what Oh, shit. <laughs> That's 0 0.2. So we were never actually even reading a pound. We were reading an ounce. A little over an ounce. Well, that's hilarious. I thought we were getting way more than that. So we were getting really next to nothing. 
Interesting. Well, if we learned anything today, it's that Deadly doesn't know how to use a scale properly. Well, he does now, but he didn't uh, this morning. Uh, but Deadly now knows how to use a scale, scale properly. We've learned that uh, the diffuser definitely helps because the other, I mean, you could hear the sound difference yourselves. Um, we were getting quite a bit more thrust out of that, even though the amount of thrust is like minuscule on all of them. It's my understanding that the only way that you could get a really appreciable, usable amount of thrust out of these is the uh, the, the bigger pulse jets, like the uh, valveless and valve designs. Some of them are like these 90 degree two stroke looking exhaust type of deals. I eventually want to get around to trying to make one myself. I've seen quite a few guys on the internet make them. They, they're pretty fucking cool, honestly. I definitely want to do it. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, having way too much fun experimenting with these anyway. Uh, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully we all learn something.